Hey guys, what's up? It's Mike with Rapid Purple. I wanted to talk with everybody today about SSL. So I did a video way back in the very beginning of this channel with kind of the same concept and the same ideas as this video, trying to explain really in a very brief and quick way what SSL was, what this whole Google ranking factor around it is, and who really needs it. Now, one way or another, that video ended up to be 20 minutes long. It really dug into, I mean, the details of exactly what SSL was, how it was invented to prevent middleman attacks. I mean, it went into definitely who needs and who doesn't need SSL. It went into a lot of the different difficulties with getting SSL set up. And it just covered so many more things than I ever intended to. So I wanted to go ahead and make this video. I wanted to make something quick and short that just answered three very simple questions. What is SSL? What is this Google SSL ranking boost? that's going about, that people are talking about? And do I really need SSL? So first off, very quickly, what is SSL? I don't wanna make this a crazy kind of discussion like I did in that last video. I will, however, keep that video up. I'll link to it, and if you're really interested, go ahead and watch that. It might take some time. Again, it's a 20 minute long video, really, as it's 20 minutes long. Put it in the background, listen to it. I mean, we just go over a lot of cool and fun things there that if you're really interested about SSL, how it came out to be and so forth, you might definitely enjoy. Apart from that, the main concept behind SSL is to secure and encrypt the information that gets passed between your browser and the website that you're on. So if you happen to be on www.mywebsite.com and you're filling in something where you're typing in some information, and that is a website that is SSL secure, that information is being safely transmitted from your browser to that web server and to that website. That's essentially what SSL is. Let's keep it at that for this video, make it nice, quick, and simple. So, moving on to our second question. What is this Google SSL ranking factor? So, back in August 2014, been a while now, Google put out some information that they were going to go ahead and give a ranking boost to SSL-enabled websites. Now, unfortunately, since then, everybody's kind of taken that, twisted it, and turned it, and, and, and made a mess out of things. And what ended up happening is people now think that if they're on page 34 of Google's natural search results, and they install an SSL certificate on their website, they're now going to be on the top of page one. Not how that works. Look, all tests, all data, all everything shows is that this ranking signal is so small, it's almost pointless. Now, I do get why Google went the route that they did in trying to state that they were giving this ranking boost and so forth. A lot of websites, really up until the past year, that collected any bit of information weren't using SSL certificates. And fact is that that left a lot of your information vulnerable to a lot of different things. So I totally get why Google wanted to kind of stress that and create a little bit of a hype around going SSL because, well, there's a lot of you guys that should have had SSL certificates from the get-go and you didn't, and that's why that happened. But the actual ranking signal is so minuscule that if you're trying to go SSL purely for that signal, it's pointless. Don't bother. Don't waste your time. Go do anything else. It won't matter to you. All reports, all everything. I mean, honestly, Google it. I'll put a, a couple of links into the descriptions below for some really interesting stats and reports that were done, but all data shows that the signal is just so minuscule that it's pointless. Which kind of brings us to our last question. Who actually needs SSL? Do I need SSL? So there's really a very simple way to, for you to figure this out. Are you collecting any data on your website? Are you collecting people's names, email addresses, phone numbers? Maybe you have um, a sign-up form or an application form or something like that online. That's the page that you should have secure. If you happen to have, you know, where half the pages on your website have a sidebar that have some sort of application form and so forth, secure your whole site, make your life easier. For that, you need SSL. If you're collecting information that people may consider private, which at this point is essentially anything, those pages where you collect that information should be SSL, as in they should be SSL secure, sorry. And that's really it. If you just have a simple website, if you have a 
blog where you post things and at the very most you use like some sort of thing for comments, you probably don't need SSL. Let's face it, you probably don't. Could you do it? Yes. People are still typing in their name and their email address and so forth. If you have, let's say, a service-related website where, I mean, this is five pages, me, about me, some gallery, a contact page, and maybe some services, and it's essentially just text-based, no, not really. You don't, you don't really got to worry about it that much. No, no. It's, you know, if, if you really want to, you can go ahead and SSL secure your contact page. I've always been a fan of that. That was kind of the first thing that I did on rapidpurple.com when, well, really, a little bit before this whole SSL security thing came out to be, but that's what I did. Feel free to go ahead and do that. Should you feel the need to convert your whole site to SSL? No, you don't need to. Half your pages aren't collecting any bit of data. This certificate is going to do absolutely nothing really for you. Could it establish some trust in your brand and name? Yes, but that's something that we kind of got into in the last video, and that's how we ended up with 20 minutes worth of things that SSL does. So let's end it here for this video. Three very, very, very simple things that we got covered and we got answered that hopefully will stop the amount of people that ask me if they're going to go from page 34 to page 1 by going ahead and enabling SSL on their website. We know what SSL is. Secures the data that you transfer. We know the ranking signal is minuscule and not something for you to consider in the world of SEO at all whatsoever. And lastly, we know that SSL is something that we, I mean, should go ahead and consider installing for collecting any bit of data. Call it a day at that. Chances are, for the majority of small businesses and so forth out there, this is going to cover everything you need to know about SSL. Under 10 minutes long, hopefully this helps a lot of you guys out. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you like it. Don't like it if you don't. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon.